I'm going to put the essential commands up front in case your mind gets boggled by this demonstration. You can go back to them and see them. I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft speech recognition software that comes with Vista or Windows 7 to read a book hands-free in Adobe Reader 8, which is just the free Adobe Reader 8 software. So to read the PDFs, it's best if the PDF is tagged, but if the it isn't tagged, you can still do it, and I'll be using an untagged document. You have to configure speech recognition so it works with your microphone and it becomes familiar with your voice. But to get the icon on the desktop, you go down into Start, Control Panel, Ease of Access, Speech Recognition Options, and that's where I drag that microphone. So now I click on this twice speech recognition to get the thing so it starts listening to me and I don't have to use my hands start speech recognition see I've got it all set up so it starts out sleeping it's waiting for you to say start listening switch to desktop Double click Walden. Cancel. OK. Now it's always listening to things I'm saying. You can't have anyone around talking or say anything else, really. Or it'll start just obeying your instructions unless you turn it off. And you can turn it off by going up, right clicking on it and just turning it off. Turn it back on by just clicking this. Now you can zoom in and out. Zoom in. Cancel. Say cancel anytime something unexpected comes up. Page down. Page down. Page down. Scroll down 10. Scroll down 20. Page down. Page down. Page down. Page down. Page down. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom in. Zoom in. View. Zoom. Reflow. OK. View. Zoom. Fit width. I like the fit width for the thing to control it. Now to place the cursor anywhere, you use this one command, mouse grid. Three. Three. Two. Four click. So that sent the mouse exactly where I did it. And you could issue a double click command too. The uh, application back, it's been minimized. You can just say switch to Adobe Reader. And you could say minimize. Switch to Adobe Reader. Another command that's important is show numbers. 
24 OK. And we're up here in the page number box. And you can issue commands. It's, list, it's dictating what I say now. So to get rid of that, I'm going to do a select all, which is just the regular command. Press Control A. Delete. Seven. Enter. Okay, it just went to page seven. Con Press Control Shift H. Press 6. See, this is a faster speed. It gets more jittery. Press 5. Press 4. Escape. That stops it. Press Control Shift H. Escape. Page down twenty. Page down five. Scroll down five. Scroll down ten. Scroll down 30. Scroll up 30. Scroll down 30. Scroll up 30. Scroll down 40. So you could use that scroll down and amount, or page down if you have your pages set up well, or the auto scroll which is press control shift H escape to stop you can also just go into the speech recognition and instead of starting the speech recognition open the speech reference card and that has all the commands but the commands you have to really learn how to use are these are all the commands and what they do and the caps is what they do so the most important commands are let me turn off the thing or it'll just be you know, deleting everything exit that The show numbers command to get numbers on any kind of software. The mouse grid, which shows where you can click or double click when you say a number, and then say click or double click before or after it. The cancel command, which is very important because you're always doing things you didn't expect to happen and you have to cancel out of them before you can do something else. The start listening tells the speech recognition to start listening and stop listening turns off the listening or right click on the um, speech recognition gizmo and select to turn it off. You have to say switch to Microsoft Word, whatever you want to bring back, switch to Adobe Reader. and the commands for doing the text in the Adobe Reader press Control Shift H starts the auto scroll press a number or just say a number and it will do the speed use you know three four or five escape stops the auto scroll